guys really seem to like the hinge tutorial I made, so I made a piston tutorial as well. Now, honestly, having the knowledge of both making pistons and hinges can amount to some really cool builds. And I mean, really, really, really cool builds. First, I'm going to go over what a piston in SFS actually is, and then I'm going to go over three different piston designs so you guys can get a well-rounded idea of how to make different pistons. The first piston design can be made without DLC. It's a two-stage piston design, which means it takes two stages to extend and one stage to retract. The second piston design, however, is a single-stage piston design. Although it is really bulky, it uses three different solar panels to extend and retract the piston. The third and final piston design is one that I made myself. It's a single solar panel piston and it uses only one stage to extend and retract. This is something I've been working on for a long time and I finally released a video in Fusion which you can check out in our discord in the description but for now let's actually understand what pistons are. Personally, in my definition, a piston is something that can extend and retract a certain part of a build. Now, just like the hinge tutorial, I'm not going to give away any of the blueprints because I want you guys to learn how to make your own. So stick around because I'm going to show you everything you need to design your own piston. Now, let's start off with the first two-stage piston. The first stage is extending the solar panel and the second stage is clicking the docking port so everything else can latch on. Basically, how this works is these two parachutes get stuck on the end of the solar panel. When the solar panel reaches a certain distance, you click the stage to undock the docking port and that allows the parachutes to latch onto the solar panel. The solar panel can extend and retract, pushing and pulling whatever's attached to this side. One tip for this piston is that you don't have to use parachutes for here. You can use BP edited struts or anything that really sticks out just a little bit. Now another tip here is the more parts, for example parachutes you have here, the stronger the hinge will be to a certain degree. And I also have a tip if the docking ports aren't redocking again. For example, if the retracting docking port is too high, you can add more parachutes to the bottom of the bracket, which pushes the retracting part down more and it has a higher chance of it actually docking again. Now let's look at the next piston design. This piston design has three solar panels, two pushing backwards and one pushing outwards, or you can reverse it around and it doesn't really matter. Anyways, this piston is a lot more spacious, so if you're looking for something more space efficient, I would recommend using the last piston we went over and the one we're about to go over. However, this one is nice in the fact that it's super super reliable. One of the good things about this piston is that it's a one stage piston, meaning you only need one stage to move it out and another stage to move it back in. The two solar panels that are pushing inwards is pushing on a shape that looks like a T. The spoke of the T is basically the piston arm and it can connect to anything else outside the piston. Now we still have one piston left to go over and that's one that I personally designed. It's a one stage piston that can extend in one stage and has the form factor of the first piston that we saw earlier. It is probably one of the best pistons I've ever seen, and it uses the fact that solar panels don't clip with fairings when they're positioned in this way. To make this piston, I took half a fairing and put a strut on the back of it so it blocks the solar panel from extending. When the solar panel does extend, it pushes on the strut, but when it retracts, it pulls on the fairing. To finish off the design, I put struts on one side and docking ports on the other. I angled the docking ports vertically so when it comes back down, it realigns itself to dock properly every single time. That is literally everything I have about pistons so if this helped you out make sure you leave a like and subscribe and if you make any pistons yourself make sure you join the discord to show us what you did i'll see you guys in the next video